Good morning, everybody. Well, I'm feeling a little bit better. Still got a little congestion, but hey, I'm feeling way better. Way, way better. And I'm ready to get busy on another day. You know, <laughs> I've been kind of a little under the weather, but I have never stopped, though. I never have. Woo! Neighbors are smoking us out, though. Look at this. Smells like plastic or wire or something they're burning. Welcome to the Philippines. Yeah, welcome to the Philippines. Whatever that is they're burning, it is strong smelling. Woo. <laughs> what a way to start a video out, right? <coughs> <laughs> Uh, what can you do? So I want to show you this and you want to see how the uh, line's doing down through here on dumping out water. You see that all the way down 100%. See all those draining out all the way to the end here. Look at that. You see how well that's working? Looks perfect, right? It is perfect. I'll tell you the funny thing about this channel. I will show you how to do something. I will tell you how to do it. And it's the proper way, I'm telling you, most of the time. I might make a mistake here or there. But uh showed you how to do it, gave the correct advice. But people will go in my comments, and they're going to tell me how I need to do it. Oh, you might need to do it at this and this and this and all that, man. And I mean, or the water's just going to run out the end. How's it going to run out the end? It's got a clean out cap on it. <laughs> or, you know, you need to drill holes down towards the bottom, not up towards the top. You need to put them at, you know, at this position or this position and all that. I showed right where to put them at, right in that three o'clock position, right in the side. And the reason being, you want the whole bottom of that pipe to fill up with water. And then they all have to pour over all those holes at the same time. If you put them down, your early holes way back at the beginning are going to start draining all the water out of the pipe before any of it can go down towards the end. So you cap the end of it and you drill your holes at 3 o'clock. And according to how much, how much distance and volume of water you have, uh, be a kind of according to size your holes. Those are a quarter inch hole. Could have went a little bit smaller. Of course, you want enough that some debris, like your lints and things like that, that are going to be in your uh, dirty water sometimes, can come on out through those holes. So use a quarter inch. You might be able to go a little bit smaller than that, but it's a greater chance of them getting clogged up. Clean out cap on the end. If you ever need to clean it, run you a little old. Uh, one of those little hand crank roto rooter tools or something in there or stick a water hose up through it and flush it out if it got a little sediment in the bottom of the line over over the years works perfect and it watered all of those plants on its own just then which was something my wife was uh manually doing and now she's so excited because she don't so now that's doing work for her and her plants now are getting a more even care. All she has to do is, when she does laundry, she just watered her plants. Winter, winter, chicken dinner. Let's go upstairs up here and look at the staircase. Yep, I enjoy the comments. Comment away. So here is the staircase. 
and they covered it up because it had a chance of rain last night. So let's see what it's looking like. We'll probably leave these forms on here for several days. But we will be walking up and down them just like we did the front stairs. Even with the forms on there and the concrete still curing, it'll be just fine. But here we go. We can head down a staircase now. That is so cool to be able to walk up to the rooftop just then from the outside. Pretty darn cool. When I laid these out, I needed that step to go up and around the window. So when you pull the form, you'll see it more. It's a couple inches back there. A couple inches back and it goes down and it goes under a couple inches. So that was my focal point was that step landing right there around that window. So when I laid these out, I began with that step. I drew that step out on the wall right where I wanted it. Then I did the math of what it would take for the steps to go down and work out just right from there down. And then I had a new thing to meet and that was where this goes over the top of my CR, my shower area and our master bath of where I needed to land there and clear a window that's in here on the side. You can't hardly see it right now. There's a form over it, but there's a window right here and the shower hopped in there as well so i had other things i had to meet and it landed out just right up there at the top onto the landing so the steps change they're they're at one height and tread until they get here and then they change a little bit right there just a little bit and you can this board they have nailed up the center here to support you can see a little difference in angle changing right there. And um, with your eye, you can see it if you're standing at the top and you look down, down all the steps because these last ones are a little bit more visible than what those first ones are. And it's just a slight change and it worked out perfect. It actually looks really good. And uh, that's what we had to do to make it happen and we made it happen. So. It is in place now, and I am very, very happy for it. I'm gonna head back up them again. Nice and easy to walk up. Easy peasy. There we go. So if you see this little concrete rubble like this right here and that, this is just some temporary little dams that we made to keep the water that's on this roof deck from pouring off here for while we were gone. This piece right here too. So all we had to do is just hit that with a hammer, knock it away. It's not really bonded on there tight. So where they're gonna be at now, it's knocking all that off. Uh, let me back up here you can see see this little purple wall here they'll complete it out to where the handrail will begin on the staircase right there going down and where you see this steel sticking up here there's a little rooftop CR and they're gonna go ahead and form it and there'll be a wall behind it right there where this steel is and go ahead and get that wall uh, all poured all these walls here poured pouring that little room so that will be one of the next things that Mop Mop will be working on. Uh, so awesome, have a staircase now. Man, you better watch out, fat boy's coming <laughs> down through here. You gonna try to shove me off side or what? <laughs> Some fish right here. Man, these are very delicious, just clean tasting fish. It's a, a fresh one, they just caught this. And uh, hope. And I saw that somebody bring it, and I said, where you get that? He said, oh, the big boy there. And I said, oh, I need to get one also. I need to get the one kilo. These white fish is one of our favorite ones to eat. They're so clean. Yes. Just clean, clean tasting. So this is the way how to clean this uh, white fish. Um, 
remove this one. Wow, that's so easy. Yes, all you need to do is just press here so that it will be soft. And then, it just splits open. Yeah, split it open. This one is ready. And just pull the bone right out, huh? Yes, in the middle. This one is ready. And uh, this is, uh, I bought this one one kilo, and half of this is, uh, I'm going to make uh, like uh, the raw one with coconut milk. Yeah, I was just, what I was going to tell the viewers is that this is a fish right here that's common to be eaten raw. Yes. And so when you're talking about using the coconut milk, you also put something else in there with it too. Yes, of course, the ingredients like onion, tomatoes, um, calamansi, and uh, I add that one also. You can add that cucumber. Uh, cucumber, yes. And so what's that called when you make that? Kinilaw. Yeah, and it is so delicious. Can you spell how that is if somebody want to research it? Kinilaw is a K I N I L A W. Look that up. It's very popular here. And uh, actually, they'll, they'll use different raw fish. It's not always this fish in that dish. Tuna, it's good as well. Yeah, tuna's the real good in tuna. it. If you're going to uh, you're gonna make the kinilaw, you, you make it sure that it is uh, the fresh uh, fish. Very, very fresh. Yes. Yeah, because you are going to be eating it raw. Yes, and the half of this, I'm going to make it... Uh, I mean, I'm gonna butter with this fish fry. It's uh, came from. You see that? <laughs> yeah, really shining. Yeah. So this is very good butterfly open, like she's doing right there. Just butterflying that open and frying it, and it is also good raw. It is so delicious raw. Just look yeah. what a clean meat that is. Look at that. Yeah, I love this. Every time we come home. This is the, the fish that I was looking for. It's easy to clean. Of course it... <laughs> I'm so happy you get it, this one. I'm looking forward to eat this today. How about you? I always look forward to eating this fish here. It's a very nice fish. So you're the one with that grinding coconuts channel, huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah, thank you. You're the one grinding coconuts? It's the real grinding coconuts. <laughs> this is the one. This is it, huh? <laughs> Man, a little exercise. Yeah. You know, I told her I was looking online of buying a little... Uh, electric coconut grinder but you know it's just something about the awesomeness of doing it by hand too but i know it's tiring though isn't it yeah, it's not that bad. if you had if you had a, a machine versus doing it by hand which one would you rather do well of course easy easy is the machine right but it's going kind to of challenge this one as well yeah and uh, my butt it's hurt your butt's hurt from setting on that yeah <laughs> My, my, Man, that's some nice th thick meat on that coconut too. It is good for the kinilaw like this. Look at that boy, isn't that nice? These are all just right here out of our yard. And we really make use of our coconuts around here, don't we? Yes. yes the yes. young coconut, the older ones like this with that thicker meat, all of it. We don't waste the water, we pour it up. They, they just make coconut drinks here yesterday. In fact, I just finished mine in the refrigerator, Mel. They mix some uh, milk in yeah, with with morning. the coconut and some of the the younger coconut with the real soft flesh in there, man. But you did too. You finished yours also. Yes. Just we utilize these coconuts on this property completely. All kinds of things we make. Check this out. Talking about that, she's got these all uh, butterfly and battered ready to fry she'll do that here in a little bit and um, here's what she was talking about with that raw with that raw little white fish there look at that that is nice so to begin with remember we talked about these door jams before and my carpenter built these jams up here at the wood shop still built them too short even after we gave them exact dimensions again and again well I had Joel to chip all that opening up there so it'd rough up the concrete so it'll bond. 
and he is still in the process of it, but he's filling that gap over these doors. He'll let that set for a while. It's still pretty wet right now, and then he'll come through here and get all that finished out. When they're done, you probably will never even know that there was a gap there. And the same process right here as well. Same thing. Then Marvin and Jerry's son, they've been up there working on the roof up top, putting a coating on it on that third floor room. Yeah, break time. And my box up here preparing for this room up here. Maybe, sir. In this side, sir, maybe six inches, sir. Because of the. Here, two here, six inches. But in this uh, side, four. Just. No, I don't want so much weight there. Uh, because this. We'll just leave that little ledge there. Up straight. Yeah, just move that in some. Yeah. Just, just move this in. It'd be all right. Yeah, it'd be okay. Just move that in some. Just cut this one here. And <clears throat> He's getting that laid out up here, though. Starting to put his cocoa lumber down. Y'all go have your break, man. And getting all the steel prepared and everything. Is that what Nardo's doing down there, cutting your steel? Yeah. And getting all the steel prepared. Yeah, that'll work. Go have your break, man. So, he's doing that and he's getting a little form made here also to extend this little wall right in here. He's working on that currently. Uh, up here on top, uh, I bought white instead of the gray just for the better reflectivity of the heat. So this is just the first coat on it. It'll get more. Beautiful view from up here. Very, very nice. Then down inside in there, the guys are still skim coating as well. Uh, we'll follow up on that later on. And there's some chipping and prepping being done up in the top of that foyer, uh, grinding a little bit of rough areas, uh, chipping any little places that are protruding out, and getting that all prepared for skim coating up in the top of that foyer as well. So I'm excited to see all this happen. Um, just progress every day. But we definitely need to get these uh, decks sealed. Actually, we need to go back this other way. Because that's going to take us over into... Yeah, pass. Yep, pass. We don't want to go that way. So Mel and I, we're in wheel cons right now. We've been wanting to come here and look at tile again. And we're really trying to decide what we want on our floor up there. I'm really wanting to go with a traditional beach house style theme with the light colored walls um, and a little bit of like some natural wood look around in a few places. And most of the time a beach home will have some type of color of wood flooring and I saw this tile here and she saw it and and we kind of like that color it's it's got a blend of some lights and darks and then they have this color here also uh, and it looks like planks that's tile but it looks like planks and I think that would look pretty good um, y'all tell us what you think on that and give you a nice look at these colors again and I know you, you, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's really textured like wood too. It's got a nice wood feel to it. You know, like a, like a rustic wood. Yeah, I like it. It's something like this, the, you know, like not shiny. We were looking at glossy floors and I told her, you know, we got to really think about 
is it going to show every little smudge on the floor with that real glossy floor there's always the slip danger too you know you mop the floor is wet no super polished floors you can get hurt that's another nice thing about there being some texture to this another thing on these tiles i don't know if you can see it right there yeah you can they have like a bevel down edge right in there see i like that too it's down the sides also get that to focus trying to get to focus there we go we can see it some there see it's got a beveled edge along it there and uh i like that as well so it says this is um 1113.60 per box so i need eight pieces in a box so you're gonna look at 21 um less than 22 dollars per box on that there is cheaper options for sure flooring will become a little pricey but uh it would look great well, let's look just a little more i really like that though you let's too. get those names that fish after she fried it in that beautiful just look at that man and the taste is so good man that Louisiana uh, little fry batter on there was just the thing for this fish it's wonderful she got the coconut in this now man this is a nice lunch right here and that's what I'm gonna enjoy right now I'm gonna enjoy my lunch Thank you.